What is going on, everybody? Becca here with a new Discord Pi rewrite bot tutorial. And in the previous tutorial, what we covered was that I I showed you how to make it look like your bot is playing a game, and I and I also showed you how to, how to make a a welcome and a good mm, goodbye message for when a, a person enters and, and and leaves your server. Now in this tutorial, what what we're going to be covering is that we're going to make a simple hello message, and we're also going to make our own custom help mm, help message and help help command. Now, as I mentioned in, in the previous tutorial, by by default, when when you create create a Discord bot, uh, did Discord automatically it su supplies a default help message for you, for directly in, in into your bot. But the reason why you would want to create your own help message is because it looks the default help message is pretty ugly. In, in fact, I, I've gone ahead and like showed put it put it together already and then this is the default help message right right here and as you can see it's pretty ugly and doesn't have any organization whereas so whereas if you make your own help help message you you can do it in, in a in an embed and and it, and you have so much more control over it and you you, you can add, add a color right here and you can style it however you want Whereas with, with with a default message, you you don't really have that much control. So so that's what we're, what we're gonna do, and right here is just an, an example of of some different some little uh uh just, just an example of of what a code code block is, which is what the default help message does. It just put puts your help message in in, in a code block. So so the first thing that we're gonna do is that we need we need a new import state. So let's go over here and let's put put an import, and we're gonna need date time. I'll explain what that is in a little bit. And for the the next thing we we need is which I've already mm, typed typed it up for you is that where we're gonna remove our uh, mm, help command. So our default help command. Which to to do that you just do client dot remove underscore command help and so now let's run the bot so we can so I can show you that the the default help command no longer works and as you can see we we get an error say saying command help is not found because because I removed it because we, we we removed it in the code, okay. So now let's 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 go ahead and and, and make our for our hello message. So we actually have have something to to add to our custom help help command. And to do that, we were gonna do at client command. And whenever you add, add a command, make make sure that you have parentheses here. Because if you don't have have these parentheses here, then your your bot's not gonna know know that it's a command. Okay, and then we're gonna do async def hello, and we're gonna put ctx as a parameter. Get get used to the ctx parameter because we're gonna be using it a lot throughout these tutorials. And so all we gotta do is just await ctx dot send, and this is gonna be a formatted message. So F double quotation marks, and so our message is going to be hello, comma, and we're going to do use the curl curly braces, then then do ctx dot author dot name. All right, and that's going to do it. All right, so now let's let's re rerun the bot. So y dot hello. No, I I made a mistake. Oh, <laughs> there we go. And, and actually, I also did ctx dot name. I actually want to do it so so the user gets mentioned. If you do ctx dot author dot dot name, the it just says says the user's name. But I'm I'm gonna do it so so it's so it actually like a 
and mentions the user. So let's try that again. Little typo. <laughs> And there we go. Okay, and now let's create our, our custom pop command. And to do this, we're gonna make an embed. So client.command, again, keep, keep these parentheses. Oh, and actually, let me just fix this. Async def help. And again, ctx. And now we're gonna do embed, which is a which is a variable. And so you can name it whatever you want. Like you, you can name it e e e e if you want. But I'm I, I always name name it embed so I know what it is. Equals Discord dot embed. And the the Discord dot embed take takes several parameters which are all op optional. It has title, description, color, timestamp and several others, but those are the ones that, that we're going to be using. So title, and this is going to be general commands. Then comma description. And for this one, we're just going to do 10, 10 dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. You'll understand why in a, in a little bit color. Now, as you can see, for color, you can either do color or the, the UK version for, for color. Both are the same exact thing. It, it doesn't matter which one you use, but I'm going to use the American version. And so to create color, what we're going to do is that we're going to do 0x, and then you're going to do do the RBG code that, of, of the color you want to use. So my RBG color that, that I'm going to use is DC14C. Okay, and the last thing we need is timestamp. And for timestamp, you know, that that's basically just just gonna be like it's gonna show you when the the uh, at what time the the embed was sent at, at the bottom of the embed. And, and to do this, we're gonna do date time. Dot date time. Dot UTC now. Now you, UTC now that doesn't mean like the UTC time time zone. It's it's just a a a, a function function that that you need. I actually made made this mistake myself. I, I put Eastern time now because I'm in the Eastern time zone. But no, for no matter where what time zone you're in, it, it's a it's UTC now. Okay, and so the next thing we need. Now that this is done, we're gonna create create some fields. So embed dot add field, and the now add field takes takes three parameters, two of which are required, and one one of them is not is not required. Required. Well, it, it, if you don't you you use the third one, it does it by the third parameter by by default. And so you don't have to type type it in the the three parameters as you can see in my as in my in, in Py, PyCharm's note notes thing it, the the three parameters are name value and inline inline is a boolean value which which by default is set to true but I'm not going to use it inline because I just never use it you can use it if you want if just just to see what it does if you set set it to false but but by default it sets it to true. Name general commands. No wait. Oh, I I actually made a mistake here. And here I want to put list of. I'll put my list list of commands because this is our like our title. My mistake. And here we put general commands. Because the field is going to be like a section of our of our commands, and so the next one is value, which I'm gonna which is going to be like our our commands. So so the first value is one 
y.help, which is the one that we're working on right now. And I'm gonna do a space and a dash and go, go my list, my list of commands. Just like a little explanation of, of the command. Then we're gonna go to the left of this, press enter and do a n double quotations. Then we're gonna do a forward slash n, which means a new line. Don't don't worry about how how, how my forward slash is com coming out as a yen sim symbol. That's 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 because my mm, my computer is under a Japanese lo locale, so I can play visual novels. So mm, e even though my mind is coming out like this, it's still like a, f a forward slash n. Okay, and so now we're we're gonna do 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 the lines that we did did. No, actually, it's not the lines yet. Where it's our second command, which is y dot hello, which is a simple hello message. No, I want to appear. Okay, and same thing we did before. New line and 10, 10 dashes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And and at the end of this one, we're gonna do another new line. Okay, and now we're gonna do another embed that I feel. Name. And this one's gonna be my prefix is y dot and the value is going to be is going to be a formatted value so f quotation marks i am in the cur curly braces then we're going to do len client dot guilds and what this is going to do is it, it, it's going to print for now how, how many guilds the 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 bot is in. Now, what I mean by guild is servers because we with Discord pipe rewrite for the for the code servers was changed was changed to guilds. So whenever you 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 see the word guilds, it, it, it means server. And I'm going to put servers. Oops. Wrong place. Right here. There we go. Oops. <laughs> okay. And the next thing we need is another another one one of those lines. So a new line and ten dashes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and now one more embed dot add field. Name. Here is my invite link. And then for the value, we're going to do I'm gonna do a, a bracket right there and then just type in invite link. And the reason I'm doing this is is because where I put the brackets in, in invite link is where you would put the link to your, your OAuth2 bot link. And to, to get that, you, you you just go to your, your Discord developer panel and just go to your developer panel and, and, and click on OAuth2 and then click on, <clears throat> excuse me, and then click click on bot and and then you'll get the link. And then you just copy that link into your into value. All right. And that's going to do it for this one. And so the last one, last two is embed dot set footer. And this now set, set footer is a little different. It doesn't take name or, or value. It, 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 it takes text. And so for the text, this is going to be for formatted. This is going to be a formatted output. So F quotation marks, 
requested by the curly braces and ctx dot author dot name and the last thing we need to do is send send the embed embed ctx dot send embed equals embed now the the, the the second embed is is name 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 of your variable so if you named your variable e then then here you you, you would put embed equals e and so that's going to do it so let's rerun the bot okay and now let's send the new y dot help help message and this is our new help, help message and as you can see the this one it looks a little ugly right now because the this should be down here but but it's over here the reason is because because these lines is not long, long enough so what 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 we're going to do is that we're going to basically make this line all the way so so, so it reaches all, all the way to the end and it's going to push this over and Mm, and, and, and when it pushes it over, it's going to push it down here and, and it's going to make it look better. So let's do that. So let me just check under the, so this one. So let's do another 30 of them. And I'm also going to do the same thing, same thing on on uh, these two, so it's all even. And the last one. Okay, so now let's check it. Why did I hope? It's still a little short. Let's do another 20. Okay, so now let's try it. There we go. And so now the uh, the prefix the it's all in the right right right. Right locations, and as you can see, we we can still fit fit some more, but uh, but I'll fix that off off screen off screen. But as you can see, we we now have a much better help, help command. The, our title is right here. My list of commands. Our we have our general commands right here, and then under that, it, it, it tells the person how well what, what the bot's pre prefix is and how many servers it's in, and then at the very bottom, it, it has the invite link. And that's going to do it. Do it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we'll, we'll, we'll work some more with, with, with embeds and, and some more uh, cool stuff. So yeah, this has been Mega, and I will see you again next time.